What makes a house a home? Simple question, right? Well, it's not so simple to answer. See, there are so many different opinions and ideas that can complete this answer for anybody here. It could be the people inside your house, the objects inside your house, the Wi-Fi password inside your house. But one thing I can guarantee about every single person in this room is that every single one of you have at least taken your home for granted once, including me, especially me. Let's go back six years. It's 2012. I was a fairly normal nine-year-old, had all of the same interests every nine-year-old has, put in my cereal after my milk like a normal person. But I was incredibly stubborn. And the issue was, so was my mum. So we often butt heads. And sometimes these arguments would turn venomous. I'd scream and shout in her face, I don't want to live with you anymore, I hate you. And apparently, that one day, God was listening and decided to show his benevolence. I was nine years old when I slammed my front door, completely unaware that my home was not mine anymore. I went to school, and my social worker approached me and said, Alexi, you're not allowed to go home again. It's too dangerous for you to be there. And I was quickly sent away to live with a person I'd never met before. And that was when the harsh reality hit me. It was safer to live with somebody I had never met than to live with my own mother. I moved another six times after this. I moved from house to house to house to house, and I could never call one home. And through that, I learned that I was missing some really small, ridiculous things, like walking in my front door and my mum asking me how my day was, or being able to walk up to my mum and give her a hug, but most importantly, have that awkward picture where I was in my GFS uniform for the first time and have her take that picture. I missed that chance with her. But then one day, a miracle happened. My social worker walked up to me and he said, Alexi, you're going home again. I had never felt so much joy and so much pride in everything I had ever done. And I learned that I should never take something as important and as crucial to me as my home. So let me ask you all again, what makes a house a home?